In our busy world, silence is often ignored because of all the noises and all the happenings and all the things that goes on around us. But you see, when we get quiet, we can learn new stuff. We can even learn important stuff. Silence is just, um, isn't just about not hearing anything at all. It's a calm place where you can think clearly. It's a calm time. It's that quiet time where your own thoughts become clearer and you can figure things out better. You can figure out problems. You can solve many, many miseries better. When it is quiet, normally when it is quiet around us, all the distractions around us and all, you know, all those noises and happenings and doings around us, it tends to fade away. And we start to notice small things like the sound of leaves rustling in our heartbeat and all that. This helps us helps us a lot to appreciate the little moment of life. Thank you for joining another amazing um, episode of Moment with Oya today. Today, I am going to be talking about the power of silence. A lot of people cannot keep quiet. And it is destroying them. The fact that they cannot keep quiet, they can they can easily tell people their plans, their 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 life. You will see people that can never keep quiet about their plan, and it is really really hindering their success. Is hindering their life. Is hindering their growth. Because those things that you're supposed to keep to yourself, now you are sharing it amongst people. You've told your brother, you've told your sister, you've told even your enemy that you thought is your friend. Just because you are not able to get silent. You are not able to keep your mouth quiet. You are not able to keep things to yourself. Silence helps us in our lives. It even helps us to connect with our own self. When we are quiet, we can understand how others feel. Some people will just be talking and talking and talking. They don't even, they don't even care if the other person is listening or not. You need to be able to keep your mouth quiet. You need to be able to keep your mouth closed. It is not everything that your eyes sees that your mouth will testify of. Being in a quiet place sometimes to discover yourself, to find yourself, can even cause you to be more creative. Without all those noises and all that around you, you can think of new ideas, come up with cool stuff that can even make your pocket rich. And apart from your pocket being rich, it can make you a wise person that many people will be running to you. But in this world where there is all so much noise, being quiet can seem strange to a lot of people. It takes bravery to get away from all the noises and listen to your own thoughts. There are so many people that cannot connect with their own spiritual self, all because they are not able to keep quiet. They are not able to be silent. But you see, when you keep quiet, you find strength. In those things that you don't even naturally would think of, you will find strength and you would be able to have a clearer sense of what is important in your life. You'll be able to have clearer sense about those important stuff. The power of silence may take time to achieve. It may take a whole long time to achieve. But you see, in those quiet moments, we can find answers. We feel closer to others and we get inspired to do great things because when you are quiet you are not running your mouth too much you are not talking too much then you give your brain the time to work a lot of people today you believe they don't have brain they don't have common sense they don't have you know a good sense of reasoning it's not because they don't have sense everybody has one potential or the other it is just because their mouth keeps running they, they don't know how to keep quiet. They don't know how to keep to themselves. Being quiet, you would be able to hear your own inner self. You'll be able to hear your own inner person 
and you will be able to think deep on those things that matters, on those things that are important in the world around you, and you will be able to understand the wisdom of the universe. Silence is, is, is when things get quiet and there is not a lot of noise in your head. You might even be in a place where people are talking and you just have this moment of silence. First off, when you are quiet, when you are quiet, it's a normal thing. Go and research about it. Even if you cannot research, check it. Your minds are not, you, you, our minds will not be distracted when we are quiet. We can think better. But you see, when we are too accustomed to a noisy place, a noisy serene, a noisy environment, you can never focus on your thoughts. And it will be very hard to figure things out. Go and check all these rich people today. All these people that you want to be like. All these people that you want to sound like. You want to live your life like them. Go and check them. They don't make noise. They are always silent. And you see, when you learn how to be silent, then you learn how to be peaceful. Silence alone helps you understand people because you are silent. You are silent. You have listening ears. When you decide not to talk and the other person is talking, you might be quiet, but you are listening. It is a very hard task. It's a very hard thing, hard thing to do rather. It is very, very hard. It is not easy to remain quiet for a long time. It is not easy to remain, to remain silent, just to not to talk when people are talking, especially when you're angry. But you see, keeping silent when it is necessary is an invaluable skill. You can never buy that skill in the market. There is no way they are selling that skill in the open market. You have to develop it yourself. You have to, you have to, you have to build it yourself. You often underestimate the power of silence. People often underestimate the power of silence because silence will just help you his things around you, especially keeping silent when people expect you to talk and you're not talking. Do you know that silence can even make people afraid of your, of, of your next move? They don't know your next plan. How do you win your... The first... The first tool to winning an enemy sometime can be the power of silence. Let me tell you a quick story. My, my grandfather told me that story. And he said, do you know why the eagle takes and um, picks the child of, um, of um, a chicken till tomorrow? I said, uh, I don't know. Uh, I, don't, I don't have an idea. And he said, the eagle initially went for the duck. And the duck looked at him. He was just going. And he, he thought in his mind, he was like, ah, this one that I took the child of this dog and they are not stalking. I don't know what they have in mind. He took the child of another bird and they just kept so quiet. They were so silent. They were not responding. He dropped it. He took the child of, an, of a hen, not an hen. He took the child of a hen and there was nothing the hen did than to jump up and keep, you know, when eagles take their children, they jump up and flap their fingers. And it was just like, this is what this one would do. This one cannot do anything beyond that jumping up and flapping fingers. And since that day, he began to take their children. When you are silent, people tend to, to value and respect you more. When you are silent, People tend to fear you because they don't know what you want to do. They don't know your next plan. You are having an argument with someone and you have, you have gone heaven and earth. You have said this, you have said that, you have, you have jumped up and jumped down and you have displayed so many things and you expect them to, to, to be afraid or you have said so many things, you have bragged, you have... Go and check it. People who brags, they don't know anybody. They don't, they don't even, they, do, they cannot do anything. They just brag and run their mouth and talk and say so many things. But yet, there's nothing they can do. Now, let me quickly tell you the four things that silence can help you do. Silence can help you with effective communication. You see, paradoxically, silence can enhance communication. It allows um us reflect is is like a reflection understanding 
and you, it will make you process information easily. And you would you process information properly. Imagine if somebody is telling you something and you are saying it and you are interrupting the person and you are, you are just in between. You may not even get the context of what that person is saying. But imagine if somebody is talking to you and you are all quiet, you are peaceful. There is nothing that is, that is uh, you don't have any, any problem while that person is talking. You are just peaceful, you are quiet, you are listening. You will be able to understand that person better than that person. You would understand that person better than what the person is saying. By listening as attentively and withholding immediate responses, you can better comprehend other pers others' perspective and um, respond thoughtfully. Your response will not be. It, your response would always carry weight. It will not be just responding. You don't just talk because you want to talk. There are so many ladies, especially, they just talk around their mouth because they want to talk. And you see, at the end of the day, their words carries no wisdom at all. When you effectively communicate, it means you are talking and listening to each other in a way that helps you yourself to understand that person better. It might sound weird when you are just silent, but sometimes staying quiet can help you make communication better. When you are just quiet, you are just silent. It gives you more time to, to think about what you have heard. You can understand it better. You can figure things out better. You can feel it better. It's like pressuring pause on a video so you can think about what, you know, the video, just like what I'm saying right now. You just put, you put in a pause on it. And you listen again. You probably you put a pause and you just keep quiet, just to make sure that you are able to digest what the video is saying, or what the person is saying, or the context of what that person is saying. When you are quiet, you can really focus on one one thing. You will focus on one thing and pick the other thing. Not that you will just think and you just be talking and talking and talking, interrupting people, and you will just jump into your own thoughts. And let me tell you, the fact is that your thoughts, when you are interrupting people and not letting people talk, um, not understanding them, you will not jump into a, 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 a knowledgeable conclusion. Even though we think that communication as talking sometimes uh, is important to us, Silence can just be much more important. It helps us listen and understand each other so we can have a better communication at all times. Learn to be silent. Now, when you are silent, the second thing is that it can show that you respect and you are showing courtesy. Silence for people, or um, silence demonstrates your respect for others and thoughts your feelings and your experiences. It shows that you value them or you value what they are saying. You are respecting them and you are willing to give them the space to express themselves. Yes, you may be angry at some people at times, but not jumping into conclusion is very, very important. Have you been to the courtroom to see how the judge or the, um, the jury, you see how quiet they will be. They will not interrupt the lawyers. They will not interrupt anybody. It is only when necessary the judge would interrupt and just say, and he would not interrupt, not naughtily, he would interrupt either to ask a question or to maybe share an observation. You understand my point? So now when you are, when you are quiet, you are, you are showing courtesy, you are showing respect. When you show respect, it's like you are being polite. You are treating people well. You are making sure they feel valued. Silence is just the way to do that. An elderly person is talking to you and you are always interrupting. You are always there. You want to interrupt. You want to say this. You want to say that. You just want people to know that you are there. Your silence can make your presence so seen and so effective than talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. It is not all conversations that you need to, to, to get yourself involved in. When you are silent as well, the Third thing is that when you're silent, it gives you the power to resolve conflicts easily. Silence can just be a powerful tool to resolve conflicts. 
It is, it's like when you, you, you are emotionally charging up a situation. You are emotionally resolving things. When you remain silent, you are listening to A, you are listening to B, you are listening to D. And you are putting all your all their words, you are putting all your facts together. It's not like you are listening, but you are yet you are talking. You are listening to this, you are you are you are blaming people. The, fa- the power of silence can help us work on conflict resolution. You will find a way to d- resolve ag- um, arguments and disagreements easily when you stay quiet. It will help you. When things get really intense and emotions are running high in the in the room. Being silent can help the situation from getting worse. It gives everyone the chance to take a breath and then you calm the situation down because you are silent. Say, for example, somebody is having having a hot argument with you and you are quiet and they are talking and they keep talking, especially between, you know, spouses. Your husband is angry. He's really, really, you know, giving it hot to you and... You are just all there. You are quiet. Or your wife is just, you know, boiling and you are quiet. You are giving time for the room to be, to be calm. You are giving time for the, for the atmosphere to, to be, to be peaceful. And you will see that it is very, you will resolve things very, very, very easily. You will resolve all those things very calmly. And life for you will just go easy. Because no matter how angry people are, when you are, when you are quiet, they tend to quickly, the, the conversation or the argument will tend to quickly tone down. Silence helps conflict. It, it's, a, it's a conflict resolutioner. It helps you resolve that conflict fast and easy. In a way that you will not even think that you would have been able to resolve it. You need to be able to keep quiet. Just keep quiet. Just let everything slide. And then peacefully say your mind. You might not be able to say your mind almost immediately. The person might not give you the time, the chance to talk instantly. But trust me, if you keep quiet for a, a much longer time, you will be able to stay quiet. You will be able, you will be able to resolve. You will be able to, to say your mind. You will be able to now resolve it. Because people cannot be angry forever. You can give it time. You can give it space. You can even look for somebody that knows how to talk to that person. So that that person, when that person sees somebody that they respect, they keep quiet for you to then explain yourself. You may be on the right side at the end of the day. And that person will now realize, oh, I've been angry unnecessarily. And they now blame themselves. When you are quiet, you are, you are promoting peace in your community, in, with, amongst your friends, amongst your family. You are even training your children for the future when you are a quiet person. It's a very hard task, I know that. I am still learning how to be quiet. It is a very, very hard task to achieve. It is not like I am coming out here to say I am I'm all righteous and everything is fine with me and I am not um I am not a victim of not being silent as well. But I have researched about silence and I have practiced it in my little way and I am seeing that it is working. Now the fourth thing is silence can help you um discover yourself like a self-reflection and mindfulness. When you are silent, you are thinking Your mind is telling you, say this at the right time. You know what to say at the right time. Whatever you want to say, because you are quiet, you are thinking about it. If I say this, what would be the outcome? Could it, you know, bring up this or bring up that? You are sure of what you are saying before you say it. Thinking about yourself and being aware of your feelings and thoughts is important for growing as a person. Silence can help you with that. When you are quiet, it's like having a moment of um, a moment to look inside yourself. You are having a moment to to connect with your own spirit. You can think about what you want to, what you are, what you want to say, what others are feeling, and why what you are what you are feeling as well, and why you are feeling that way. It's like taking a break to figure out the things that are going on in your life. Being quiet. Paying attention to yourself 
It, it will help you in your life and divorce. Professionally, maritally, spiritually, everything in all ways of life. Silence can help you. Being quiet and paying attention to your own self, especially. You will learn a lot about you that you don't even know and you want to know. It helps you become a better person and understand yourself well. It's not like you've not totally listened to the conversation, yet you are already angry. You are already boiling. You are already saying this and that and people are already looking at you like, what is wrong with this? This was not what I meant. Why is she or he taking it this personal? You are not quiet. You are not calm enough to listen to, to what that person means before you begin to jump into conclusion. You don't even listen because you are talking and talking. You tend to quickly jump into conclusion and people will regard you as someone who is not knowledgeable, who is not exposed and who does not have wisdom. Let us learn to be quiet. There's going to be a part two of this topic and um, it's going to be airing on our next um, live show. Thank you so much for joining today. I do not want to exceed 25 minutes. So I was really, really rushing my words and putting my words together so that I would not rush 25 minutes. Thank you to all those that joined this evening. I really, really appreciate you. And um, I am want to make sure that I am able to keep to time on this show and make sure that we do not exceed a certain time. I'll see you again on Thursday evening. Thank you so much and God bless you. Have a good night.